Hello students, welcome to PW Gulf. I am Tanya and yes, today we are going to have the ultimate recap of your chapter gravitation. So I believe by far you are comfortable with the terms force, you know about motion, you know about equations of motion as well. So as the name suggests over here, gravitation, here we are going to understand what exactly gravitation is. Okay, moreover anything that is being released dropped or that is actually thrown up it will eventually come up, come down right things going up they will come down why this is happening moreover here we can certainly say earth is involved in some manner how earth is involved moreover the term used that is gravitation force or acceleration due to gravity how they are different from each other there is a huge misconception everyone that people usually think that okay this gravitation force though it is there only on the earth yeah, moreover, we actually think that, okay, the force of gravity, right, only Earth is responsible for it and nobody else, not even the other planets or other celestial bodies, they are involved. But that is wrong. Whenever we talk about gravitation force, everyone, okay, over here, understand that you are talking about masses. So, of course, to start, we are going to have a normal discussion. Everyone, when we talk about gravitation force, first thing to remember will be there will be masses involved. So, in order for gravitation to occur, there should be matter around you. Why matter? Because yes, matter is anything, occupies space having mass. So, table, chair, your pen, paper, pencil, all these are objects having masses. I am also having mass, you are also having mass. So, of course, there will be some force of gravitation or gravitation force involved. So this misconception that okay only gravity is having, only earth is having this you know gravity right? No that is wrong. Now when we talk about gravitation force everyone, this concept it is not new right? Certainly it, it came into picture long time back we also called this law that is universal law of gravitation that we are going to study No, we also call it as Newton's fourth law or Newton's law of gravitation. But Newton was not only the one, before Newton there were some scientists they were also involved in it. Galileo, yes I will be talking about him also in order to talk about gravity constant value. So I am using lot and lot of terms over here before going ahead let us talk about this one that is universal law of gravitation and understand gravitation in a better manner. Everyone whenever in physics there will be any law you have to memorize the statement as it is. Don't make up the statement on your own it's better to memorize the statement because it is given to you. Okay, so when we talk about universal law of gravitation, what it states? It states every body in the universe attracts every other body with the, a force which is directly proportional to the product of their masses and inversely proportional to the square of the distance between them. So, there is something involved. Everyone, now let us imagine there are two things. Let us say two stones are there kept on a surface. Right? Now, will they have any force of gravitation among them? Of course, both the stones, right, they have mass. So, when we talk about anything that has mass, there will be gravitational force. Now, gravitation force is attractive in nature. Why I am saying that all of you, if I will drop this pen, where will this pen go? Down on the earth. Why so? Pen and earth, there is some gravitation force between them. Moreover, pen and earth, of course, they are going to have different gravitation forces. How so? You know, earth is trying to attract pen, pen is trying to attract earth. Okay, action, reaction, pair. Yes, when we talk about gravitation force, of course, see, this mass M2 will apply force on M1, trying to attract it. Then, again, mass 1 will try to attract mass 2. So, of course, force of gravitation will be there. Now, you can ask, 
will this force of gravitation equal of course action reaction pair equal and opposite in nature okay certainly they will be in equal amount now how i can talk about the amount how i will get that particular amount into nature i know attractive in nature always gravitation force will be attractive in nature okay i'm just giving you a gist right now then of course you are going to move ahead as well right so if i say attractive in nature certainly pen attracting the earth earth attracting the pen similar way anything having mass let me say okay there is a paper ball and a feather of course attractive force between the two because having masses force of gravitation there similar way if i say let us take up air particles air particles around you having mass will there be force of gravitation over there of course there will be attraction there force of gravitation taking place over there also clear everyone mass plays very very important role now mass is important perfect more the mass more the force of gravitation lesser the mass lesser the force of gravitation similarly right have a look when we talk about the statement product of their masses that means force of gravitation depends upon the product of their masses can i say that yeah mass 1 mass 2 multiplied all together so if masses here are less of course what will happen the force of gravitation will be less certainly masses are more force of gravitation will be more directly okay now this thing only if i will tell you that okay here another line is also there how we can forget that that yes the force of gravitation is inversely proportional to what inversely proportional to the square of the distance between them that means if i will take up the distance between the two bodies distance between the two stones of course the force of gravitation depends on this distance as well so i can say if the distance between the two here yeah is nothing but let me say r right now before going ahead and writing down the whole scenario you can ask me why i am taking the distance from the center i cannot take the distance from the surface i cannot take the distance from you know one from the surface one from the center all of you the average out we talk about right to uh, you know like dissolve any confusion so we take the distance from the center only okay here the center will be so force of gravitation will depend upon the inverse of the distance between two bodies okay that is what the statement tells us here by far now we are clear that okay force of gravitation yeah mass is there of course there will be force of gravitation matter among two matter two body force of gravitation will be there equal and opposite in amount moreover attractive in nature trying to attract clear now taking this thing forward only and then we are going to talk about the okay what is the formula how we are going to talk about the you know number as well everything we are going to talk about but let us jot down the important points okay by far now i know gravitation force is attractive in nature okay so two masses and they both are going to attract each other okay similar way here i can add on what i can add on similar way over here i can add on that yes here my force of gravitation depends upon the product of the masses so you can say that yes the force of gravitation depends upon the product of the masses okay now uh, you uh, you know you saw that i was writing a small g over here just to give a clarity you can write down uh, f also capital f whichever way suits you whichever way suits you everyone you can use that okay now here the masses they are in contact with each other no right the pen over here uh, earth over here then contact with each other can you see any earth hand coming grabbing the pen going down no right so what you can say 
my gravitation force will be contact force or non contact force of course non contact force there shouldn't be any contact yet i can see the attraction taking place okay so of course non contact force yeah very very normal points very very general points we are talking about so if i say mass is it is depending upon what about the distance of course yes my force of gravitation will depend upon the distance okay r okay you can make this sub like a circle no so some of the kids are going to say okay where is the center there so i'm making it yet again just to give the clarity because i know okay mass 1 mass 2 and okay yeah so dotting it distance this is the distance clarity now we are going to move ahead so if i tell you that okay this is the first point this is the second point if i club the two points over here what i'm actually getting i'm getting force of gravitation depending upon m1 m2 by r square right we know in physics whenever there is this proportionality sign no we are going to remove it how we are going to remove it by adding on some constant so force of gravitation is equal is equals to gravitation constant m1 m2 by r square so all of you you can see over here this is the final one the formula also that we use here what is capital g capital g is nothing but the universal gravitation constant this universal gravitation constant everyone yes we have included in order to remove the proportionality sign constant will remain same everywhere wherever you go yeah over here masses are going to vary distance can certainly vary but this constant will remain same so you can say gravitation constant g similar everywhere now who was the scientist who actually see you cannot say no newton only gave the gravitation constant no newton gave the whole concept the constant value was given by cavendish he performed an experiment with two golden balls okay of course in class 11th and furthermore you are going to talk about that not in class 9th so the value of capital g is nothing but 6.67 into 10 to the power minus 11 will there be any unit of course without unit how you will work newton meter square by kg square how i got this unit how you know certainly i am talking about some unit this unit i will be talking about because it is there in your syllabus also i will have a word on that as well till here i believe clarity is there everyone okay normal basic concept just one more thing to add on everyone this inversely on the square of the distance whenever you will see no that force of gravitation is depending upon the inverse square of the distance is called as inverse square law it is applicable for masses it is applicable for magnetic poles it is applicable for charges also certainly you are going to see over there okay inverse square law if you want to write down now we have the formula through which we can talk about the force of gravitation of course if two masses are given to me i know the distance among the two of course i can talk about anything gravitation constant i know yes you have to memorize the value how i get the unit i am using one unit you know right so gravitation constant is nothing but 6.67 in 210 to the power minus 11 newton meter square by kg square so i am now concerned because this thing comes in the exam also that how this unit came into picture so this unit came into picture from the formula itself everyone what is the formula f is equals to g m1 m2 by r square right mass of the first body is again body the distance among the two the square of the distance among the two similarly over here if i will tell you that okay i know 
What is the SI unit of force? What is the SI unit of force, everyone? Newton, of course, I know that. I don't know the SI unit. By far, I'm taking that out. So I don't know the SI unit of the gravitation constant. I know the SI unit of masses. And I am aware about the SI unit of distance also. So everyone, have a look. If I will keep the G over here, F R square by M1, M2. In the place of these physical quantities, if I will place their SI unit, what will happen? Have a look. In place of force, Newton, distance, meter, distance square, so meter square, kg into kg. What you are getting? You are getting Newton meter square by kg square. This is the SI unit of your universal gravitation constant. Universal gravitation constant, everyone. Okay? Yeah, value you should learn. Right? I'll be seeing you on the next class. Bye all of you. Take care.